How's it going guys? It's me, Craig Mitch, and welcome to another Top 5. Now, after we completely smashed West Ham at White Hart Lane 4-1, we thought it was only fitting that we do a Top 5 Spurs thrashings. That's right, all of the thrashings that have happened over the last 20 or so years, we've picked out the 5 biggest ones. Alright, in at number 5 is when we beat Manchester City 4-1 at White Hart Lane this season. Yes, it was a very emphatic win. I mean, they still had a lot of great players on the field. They didn't have David Silva, they didn't have company, but they had the likes of Yaya Torre, they had Kevin De Bruyne, they had Sterling, they had Aguero, and we did the business. I mean, who got on the score sheet? Kane scored a goal, Toby Alderweireld scored a goal, Dyer drived in an effort, and Lamella ran around the keeper and tucked it away. In at number four is when we smashed Chelsea at White Hart Lane last season. Another recent one, and it was on New Year's Day, we beat them 5-3. I don't think anyone expected it. Chelsea were doing so well. They, they won the title and they were, you know, leading the pack for a while, but no one expected this result and Kane scored a brace, Chadley scored a good goal and we just went rampant on them. I mean, at the end of the day, Mourinho and all of them, that kind of was, was the changing point for their season. After that, they started losing games. They started being defensive. They weren't taking risks. They weren't playing that free-flowing football that everyone knew. We kind of put a dent in their armour and it was such a great win and I remember, I remember specifically the atmosphere that day. It was amazing. Number three, once again, Chelsea, the Blues. We smashed them 5-1 in the League Cup semi-final at White Hart Lane. It was the second leg. They beat us 2-1 in the first leg, but that doesn't matter because in the second leg at the synagogue at White Hart Lane, we beat them 5-1. And funnily enough, Sherwood and Sheridan scored. You know Sherwood, that guy that was, you know, managed us and then some people said he should stay on, i.e. my dad. Hi, dad. You was wrong. He got sacked from Aston Villa. He's shit. He's unemployed. Who knows what he's doing now? He probably has a long beard from November. He never shaved his beard anyway. What am I talking about? Uh, Sheringham also scored. What a legend. Teddy. Teddy. The, the original womanizer. He scored. He scores on the pitch, off the pitch. He scored a goal as well. And it kind of broke a hoodoo that we had against Chelsea. But then the hoodoo continued after that. But anyway, it was a very emphatic win. Number two. And this one is sweet. We beat Arsenal 5-1 in the League Cup semi-final at White Hart Lane. This was way back in 2008. Ande one day Ramos and what a win it was. And the icing on the cake was when Adebayor headbutted Bettner after the game. He headbutted him right in the nose, blood everywhere, he matched his shirt, it was so hilarious. And then Adebayor joined us, proving that he always wanted to be, he always hated Arsenal, really and truly. Didn't like Wenger, didn't like the team, didn't want to play for them, came over to us, scored goals against them. What a guy. What a guy. He's moved on, but what a guy. We hated him, we liked him, but we loved him for that specifically. And after we beat them, we had the impetus to go on and then win the League Cup. We won it in 2008. I salute you. I love you. One day, Ramos, you weren't that great, but at least you got us a trophy. And finally, number one, numero uno on this list has to be when we completely... I, I don't even know if there's a word to describe this. When we nuked Wigan 9-1, at White Hart Lane. It was amazing. Back in 2009, high five Jermaine Defoe, high five, because he scored five. He joined that illustrious club of players that have scored five in one game, and they just got trolloped. I mean, even Nico Cranchar scored. Remember him? What a ledge. So did Crouch, that tall robot. He just scored, did a bit of a robot on them. R2-D2, loved it. They got completely hammered, and uh, we haven't managed to outdo that ever since, but it was just a great day. I remember it. I remember it fondly. He got five in the second half. Jermaine Defoe, I love that man so much. And Reese, he is better than Robbie Keane. I don't care what you say. I don't care what any of you watching this think. Jermaine Defoe, an absolute legend. Anyway, guys, this has been the top five Spurs thrashings. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me. Let us know of any that we've missed out. Maybe you think, you know, when we beat Liverpool 4-0 at White Hart Lane, should have made the list. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, follow us on Twitter if you haven't done so already, at Spurred on TV, and somehow keep it casual. What's going on, everybody? I am Adam Richmond from ITV's Barbecue Champ Man, Finds Food Man versus Food Food Fight, you know, food programs in general. Um, and diehard Tottenham Hotspur FC fan. And this is a list of my top five favorite moments in Tottenham Hotspur history. 